Hello everypony and welcome to my brand new channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you a project I've had in my head for years. This pony is inspired in the vintage art, like boxes, bug cards, you know. Unicorn tic-tac-toe appears on several drawings from different countries, like this invitation card or this French magazine, and my personal favorite, the Portuguese pocket calendar. So I just had to make this girl. If you haven't seen my other customs, please check my Facebook and Instagram accounts. I will leave the links in the description box below. And please subscribe to my channel and turn on all the notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, let's continue with important stuff, the pony. Unfortunately, I didn't make a video of the first steps, you know, cleaning the bait, removing the mane and tail, painting it and so on. So, let's go directly onto the hair. I will be using the colors Sugarberry, Heartthrob, Sea Nymph and Envy I bought from dollyheart.com several months ago. I use Kik's My Little Pony Hair Color Matching Guide to check the colors I need. It's a fantastic site. I will put the link below if you don't know it. It's very, very complete. Step number one. First, I measure the hair. I use another G1 pony to check the length at the beginning and end of the mane. Then I double the length and cut the hank of hair. Step number two, cut the amount necessary. And this basically I just eyeball it. <laughs> Step number three, prepare the plugs. This part can be a bit uh, long, but it has to be done. <laughs> And step number four, reroute that pony. <laughs> Many people like using the reroute tool with the needle, and although it's very fast, I prefer to use a piece of wire and tie knots on each plug of hair. I don't like using glue inside of the head of the ponies, just in case it leaks to the plugs. The wire I'm using is quite sturdy. Apparently it's used by electricians, but <laughs> don't ask me more. I got two huge wire coils from my father-in-law some years ago, and that's what I've been using since then. But after many uses, it does break. This one had already been used in another custom, so it was time for a fresh wire. As you can see, it's wrapped in a thinner wire that must go. First, I use my pliers to loosen a few centimeters. And once I have a good area to hold tight, I just pull and the thicker wire is free. Then I cut the piece I need and save the rest for another moment. And let's continue rehearing this girl. Let me tell you the story behind this pony. It was 2016 when I found an image of tic-tac-toe unicorn in a Facebook group and I loved it. I saved it in my computer in my custom ideas folder and then I saw another image and another one and that was like a sign that I must do this pony. But back then I wasn't very confident. I was considering different options on how to work on it. So for the last years I've been learning, learning and investigating on the materials to use. I've been testing, I've been working on other customs and finally I think I have the right combo to give my customs the quality I want. I don't want a painted pony that sits on the shelf beside the G1 and you can see it's a custom because it's shiny and sticky and, and no, that's not what I want. I want to put my custom ponies beside my regular G1s and they will look almost the same that you cannot tell it's a custom and, and that's what I want. At least when, when looking at them, then when you touch them you can see the texture is different. And I think I can get the quality I, I need. I still have to work a lot and I want to try new techniques that I hopefully will show you in my other videos. And yes, uh, this is just about it. So let's keep on working. And now the reboot is done. <laughs> 
Let's move on to the tail. I'm going to use the original one as a guide for length and thickness. It's a bit more than 30 centimeters, so let's get some hair from each color. Then I will use a couple of plastic flanges. I'm not really sure if they're called like that. Let me know in the comments below how these are called, please. Unfortunately, it seems I only have one left. So um, let's improvise with this piece of wire until I find a better solution. Next, I'm going to soften the hair with boiling water. We are not styling it yet. I try not to wet the head too much, although it's sealed, you know, just in case. Remove the excess water, brush it and set aside. Now let's go on to the symbol. I always get a bit anxious on this part. In the case of painted ponies, I prefer to do a template. I leave the freehand drawing for more artistic customs. I take the measurements given to me by my friend Crystal, as I don't have tic-tac-toe in my collection, and draw it on a piece of paper very carefully. Then I use tracing paper for my template. To transfer it to the pony, I use watercolor pencil instead of regular ones. And today I'm gonna do a little experiment and instead of using a brush, I'm gonna be using ball pointed tools to paint the symbol. Take a bit of paint and place a dot on the edge of the symbol. Then move it in the direction you want. And yes, you can't hardly see anything with my hands on the way. I have to change the camera for the next video. I think the symbol is too small and I checked other photos and it does look small but I don't know. It might be because of the pose or something but it looks even smaller on my pony. <laughs> I, I should have made it a bit bigger. Okay, I don't know, maybe the next time. After the symbols are done, I proceed to insert the tail. I use a piece of thick thread. I create a loop and then insert it through the tail hole. But I don't want the wire inside this pony, so let's see what I can find. I have these two small elastic bands. I tie them tight around the base of the tail so it holds the hair well. Put the tail through the loop and pull from the other side. And ta-da! There it is! Now let's get the tail wet again. This time the water doesn't have to be hot. I will also need some paper towel or napkin. Cut a piece and fold it. This will make it all easier. Brush the tail nicely, then wrap it burrito style in the paper towel. Fold those edges and then wrap the tail around one of the legs of the pony. Secure it with a bit of tape and done. 
onto the head. Put the head back on the body and oh gosh, look at her. She's so beautiful already. Damp the hair and remove the excess water. I'm going to do a similar step for the mane. You could wrap it burrito style too, but in this case I'm just going to wrap it around the neck. This will give you a very G1 mane style, like, you know, simple and elegant. Leave the pony to completely dry overnight before removing the paper. And now it's time for the reveal!